with the vocabulary review on the first page. So, um, Andreos means brave. An epistole is a letter. Sophos means wise. Um, Nea means nine, that's the number nine. Su is you, singular. An ekthro, well, ekthros, ekthra, ekthron is an adjective that means hostile. And if it's a noun, ho ekthros, it means the enemy or an enemy. Um, hemera is a day, like ephemeral, lasting only a day. Monon means only or alone as an adverb. Um, and then deipnon is dinner or meal. Fulasso, I guard. Hex is the number six. Right, remember that's different from X, right? X with the smooth breathing means out of and takes genitive. Hex with the rough breathing is the number six. Luo elusa means I set free or release or untie. Um, protos means first, um, as in all those proto words like proto Indo European or whatever. Um, and number 14, kindunos is danger. Uh, chronos is time, like chronology. Uh, dendron is a tree, like a rhododendron, a rose tree, literally. Megistos means very big. It's the superlative form from megas, which means big. Uh, and then u means not, which can also be written uk or uk, depending on what comes after it. Um, you have uk with the kappa if the next word begins with um, a vowel with a smooth breathing, uk with the chi if the next word begins with a vowel with a rough breathing, uh, and then ekthros, the noun, is an enemy. Sos, se, son means your, singular, it's the adjective version of su here. Tritos is an adjective, it means third, it's an or, uh, ordinal number. Parascuasdo is I prepare. An onoma is a name. The demos is the people. So onoma like onomatopoeic, demos like democracy, and poloi, polai, pola means many. Okay, um, and then here, um, this is the imperfect passive. I was being stopped. So to form the imperfect passive. You take um, the stem, pow, right? The stem from pow. So we need that in, oops, sorry, we, we need pow in all of them. We also, because it's a past tense, we need the augment at the beginning. So e pow. And then we add the imperfect passive ending. So omen, u, eto, ometha, s there and onto. So you get epaomen, epau, epaeta, epaometha, epaeste, epaonto. Okay, so what we're going to look at in this lesson is um, how to do comparisons. So we're going to start with adjectives, right? So adjectives agree, uh, exist in three degrees. Positive, like the word good, comparative, like the word better, and superlative, like the word best. Okay. Another example would be fast, faster, fastest, or big, bigger, biggest. Okay. Um, all the Greek adjectives we've met so far have been positive. Comparative adjectives usually end in teros, and superlatives end tatos. And before those endings, teros and tatos, you have to add some kind of an O vowel. Either a short O, an omicron, or a long O, an omega. Now, to know which one to use, you have to look at the, no the normal form, the positive form. Um, and look at the last syllable of its stem. If that last syllable is long, then you're going to have a short O. If that last syllable is short, you're going to have a long O. Um, so the O is always the opposite, if you like. Um, to, it's the opposite of the last vowel in the stem. So here's an example, danos. Okay, now the stem is dain. 
And the last vowel, in fact, there's only one vowel in the stem, it's a diphthong, E-I, so it's long. And therefore the O that you need before teros and tatos is short, de noteros and de notatos. Um, that's how you say stranger and strangest. On the other hand, let's look at sophos. Okay, the stem is sof, and the last vowel, again, it's the only vowel in that stem, is o, which is short. So, therefore, the o before teros and tatos has to be long, so you get sophoteros and sophotatos. Okay. Now, comparative adjectives and superlative adjectives are very regular. Comparative adjectives are 2 1 2, so second declension in the masculine, first declension in the feminine, second declension in the neuter, with an alpha in the feminine. So they go like mikros, mikra, mikron. Or if you like, they go like logos in the masculine, kora in the feminine, and dodon in the neuter. Superlative adjectives are 2 1 2 as well, but with the eta in the feminine. So they're more like sophos, sophe, sophon. Okay? Um, and um, that, if you like, they go like um, logos in the masculine and nike in the feminine and doron in the neuter. Now, in English, when you use a comparative adjective, you often need to use the word than afterwards. For example, we are wiser than you. Now, in Greek, the normal way to express this is using this word air. It's just an eta with a smooth breathing. And the noun after air will be in the same case as the noun that came before it. Uh, this is exactly the same as doing comparison with quam in Latin. Right? The word quam is just like the word air in Greek or the word than in English. So here's an example. The boy, hopais is wiser, sophoteros estin, than the old man, er ho geron. And you can see that the, the, the old man, the geron, is nominative, just like the noun before, the boy. Um, and then here's another example. Um, we have no friend. So we have, ekomen, no friend, udenafilon, wiser, sophoteron, than the judge, er ton kriten. And you can see here that the judge, ton kriten, is accusative case, which is the same case as the noun uh, before, which is udena philon. Um, so they're both accusative because, in a sense, they're both objects of, of ekomen. Um, now, sometimes in a very... Um, in a very basic comparison, you know, he is taller than her, she is cleverer than him, or whatever. In those kind of simple comparisons, you, you don't have to use the word air. You can actually take that out and just put the second noun into the genitive case. And that is called the genitive of comparison, which is just like the ablative of comparison in Latin. Okay. Um, so... Here's an example of that. Hop, uh, the boy, Hoppais, is wiser, sophoteros esti, than the old man, tugerontos. So you can see here, there's no word for than, right? The word air is omitted, it's not there. All that you do is you put the old man in the genitive, tugerontos, instead of hogero. And that does the comparison for you. Uh, and one last thing to note there about the word air is that it does actually have two different meanings in Greek. In these kinds of situations that we're studying now, um, it means than, but in other situations which don't involve comparison, it means or. Okay, so here's a bit of practice. Now, um, braver or more brave. Okay, so the word for brave is andreos. Okay, so you need to look at the stem. That's andre, and you think, okay, look at the last vowel. It's e i. The last vowel sound is a. Is that long or short? Well, it's a diphthong. It's two vowels combined into one, so it's long. Therefore, the o will be short. So we will have andreoteros. 
Andreoteros. Okay. Um, now, uh, let's try newer. Okay, newer. So new is neos. Neos. So here's the stem, ne. Now, is that vowel long or short? Well, epsilon is a short vowel, so it's short. Therefore, the O is going to have to be long. So, neoteros. Not neoteros, but neoteros. Um, okay, more useful. Here's another uh, comparative. Now, the word for useful in Greek is kresimos. So, again, look at the stem, kresim. Uh, now, here the last vowel is an I. That could be long or short, uh, usually short, so kresim, but short. So we're going to need the long O, kresimoteros. Um, then, stupider. Okay, so the, the adjective for stupid is moros. So look at the stem, mor. Is the vowel long or short? Well, it's an omega, which is long. So we're going to have to have a short O, moroteros. And then more difficult. The Greek for difficult is kalepos. So look at the stem, kalep. The last vowel is an epsilon, which is short. So therefore we need a long O, kalepoteros. Okay, let's now try, and those would all be masculine, of course, and you could change it then to feminine, neuter, plural, etc. Um, now let's try some of the superlative ones. So stupidist, or very stupid. Okay, again, we have moros. Right, again, you've got this, the stem mor. Again, the O is still long, so you're going to have a short O here. And now we have, instead of teros, we have tatos for the superlative. So morotatos. Okay, freest or very free. Well, the Greek for free is eleutheros. So look at the stem, eleuther. The last vowel is an epsilon, which is short. So we're going to need an omega here, eleutherotatos. Then, um, most difficult. Okay, so difficult in Greek is kalepos. So look at the stem, kalep, the last vowel is an epsilon, which is short, so we need a long O here, and then tatos for the superlative, kalepotatos. Okay, ready in Greek, ready is, is um, hetoimos. So again, look at the stem, hetoim, the last vowel sound is a diphthong, oi, which is long, so therefore we want a short O, and then tatos for superlative, so hetoimotatos. And then the last one there is bravest, or most brave, or very brave, whatever. So, um, brave is andreos. So the stem is andre, and the last vowel sound is ei, the diphthong a, which is long, because it's a diphthong. So that means we need the short o, so andreotatos, uh, with tatos for the superlative. Okay. And now we have some practice sentences from Greek to English. So, hostrategos, the general. Moroteros esten is stupider. Erhodulos, than the slave. Okay. In number two, uden kalepoteron esti, nothing, uden means nothing, is more difficult or more dangerous, kalepos. Um, and then here we have the genitive of comparison, ters thalases, than the sea. Perhaps in this situation, the translation dangerous would be better. Then number three, hoi politai, the citizens. Then the verb is ersan, that's in perfect tense, they were. Andreotatoi, that means bravest, or in this situation you might just say very brave. Okay, number four, ara makes it a question. Um, and then herkore is the girl. And then estin means she is. So is the girl sophotera, wiser, erhopais, than the boy. 
Okay, and then in number five, how tear hair biblos. Okay, how tear comes from hutos, which means this. So this book, estin means is, and neotater means very new or newest or something like that. Superlative from neos. Um, then, number six, ho andreotatos. That means the bravest. And then tone polytone is genitive plural of the citizens. Ethaumazdet or imperfect passive was being admired or wondered at. Hupo plus genitive means by, and pantone means everyone or all, or you could say all people, all the people. Okay, in number seven, tonauticon is the fleet. Cresimoteron en, that means was more useful. And then here you have the genitive of comparison, to stratu, than the army. Okay, and then in number eight, hosophotatos krites, that means the wisest judge, or you could say the very wise judge. Epempeto, imperfect passive, was being sent. Prostenesom to the island. Then number nine, hutos. Now hutos here is not agreeing with any um, noun. Okay, so it just means this man, this man, Andreotatos esti. Okay, that means is the bravest tone. Noon. That means of, literally of the now, of the ones now. So of the ones, or you could say of the men now. Or instead of now, you could say of today. You could say of the, the men of today, something like that. And then, because remember, um, hoi noon means the men today. It's one of those phrases, the, the men who now live. It's that kind of thing. Um, then number ten, herde hefea. Remember, hode, herde, tode means this. Okay, so this goddess, herde hefea, de notera estin, is um, stranger or more terrible or something like that, more frightening, de notera, er, ekene, than that one, than that goddess. Or it could just mean than her. I suppose. Um, okay, now um, that's adjectives. Now we need to think about adverbs, right? Adverbs are words are words in English like bravely, wisely, quickly, and so on. They normally end in ly, and they describe how an action is done. They describe verbs, basically. So um, a while ago, we learned about adverbs, we learned that you can turn an adjective in Greek into an adverb by taking the genitive plural and changing own to os. So for example, sophos means wise, the genitive plural is sophon, so change that to os and you get sophos, which means wisely. Okay. Now if you want to make a comparative adverb, i.e. which would mean something like more wisely, more quickly, more bravely, etc. Um, well, it's the same as the neuter singular of the comparative adverb. Okay, so here's an example. Um, so let's say you want to say more wisely. So you have to find the, the, the um, comparative adjective, sophoteros, put that in the neuter singular, sophoteron, and that also is the comparative adverb, more wisely. The superlative adverb, which would mean something like most wisely or very wisely, is the same as the neuter plural of the superlative adjective. So let's say you want to say most wisely. You take most wise or wisest, that's sophotatos, take the neuter plural, sophotata, and that gives you the superlative adverb. Sophotata means very uh, most wisely or very wisely. The good news about adverbs is that there are no endings, right? The adverb is always the same. Um, so in other words, it doesn't change depending on the, you know, gender or case or person or anything like that. 
right? If you want to say wisely, it's always sophos. It doesn't matter what else is happening in the sentence. So let's practice this a bit. Okay, more strangely. So what's the Greek for strange? First of all, it's denos. Sorry, there we go, denos. Now, we want more strangely. That is a comparative adverb. So first of all, we need to take the comparative adjective. Okay. So, how do we do that? Well, look at the stem. Dain, right? That vowel is long, so the O is going to be short. So, denoteros. Okay. And then, we just put that in the, in the um, neuter. Right, because remember, it's the neuter singular. So, de noteron. This one, most dangerously or very dangerously, okay, how do you say dangerous? Well, kalepos. Okay, now this time we want a superlative adverb, okay, so let's start by forming the, the um, well, look here, we, we start with the superlative adjective. So, look at the stem, kalep. The last vowel is short, so therefore we need otatos for the superlative adjective. And then we want the neuter plural, so kalepotata. There you go. Um, all right, number three, most bravely or very bravely. Brave is Andreos. Uh, we want the superlative adverb, so we need to start with the superlative adjective. So look at the stem, Andre. The last vowel is long because it's a diphthong, so we're going to have a short one, so a short O, so andreotata. Uh, sorry, andreotatos, and then we want to put that in the neuter plural, so andreotata. Uh, number four, more stupidly. So we start with moros, meaning stupid. Um, we want the um, comparative adverb, so we start by forming the comparative adjective. So look at the stem, mor, the o is long, so therefore we're going to have a short o here, moroteros, and then we just put that in the neuter singular, moroteron. And then number five, most usefully or very usefully, okay, we start with the Greek for useful, which is kresimos, and we want the superlative adverb, so, okay, let's look at the stem, kresim, uh, the last vowel there is short, so we're going to have a long O here, kresimotatos. There's our superlative adjective. And then just put that in the neuter plural, kresimotata. Okay, now let's try some practice of sentences going from Greek to English. So hopais, the boy. Apen means spoke. Strong heiress from Lego. Uh, sophoteron, that means more wisely, comparative adverb. Than, uh, than the old man, er hogero. Okay. In number two, hoi en ter kome, that means the men or the people in the village. Efulason, uh, were guarding, in perfect tense. Tas pulas, the gates, accusative plural. Andreotata, very bravely, superlative adverb. Then number three, Ekenos Hodulos, that slave, Moroteros En, that means was stupider. Tone alone here is genitive for comparison, than the others. Kai means and, Apen, he spoke. Moroteron is a comparative adverb, more stupidly. Okay. Number four, tis. Tis means who. Uh, here it's followed by uh, a, a genitive, so who of the children, or you could say which of the children. Edramen, ran. Um, kalepotata, so that means most dangerously, superlative adverb. Then number five begins with a genitive sandwich. Ha tu kritu dulos, the judge's slave. Lege is speaking, present tense. Sophotata, very wisely, superlative adverb. 
Uh, number six, hot angulos, the messenger. Apen, spoke. Kresimoteron, more usefully. Air hostrategos, than the general. Okay, then number seven, hoi hemeteroi sumakoi, our allies. Epathon suffered, that strong heiress from Pasco, suffered de notata very terribly, very badly, superlative adverb, in the war, ento polemo, that's n plus dative. Okay, then uh, number eight, ta ton polemio, that means literally the things, because ta has no noun to go with it, so it just means the things. The things of the enemy. So the enemy's things, or you could say possessions or something. Eklepteto, imperfect passive, were being stolen. Um, and then andreos, this is just a positive adverb, not comparative or superlative. Bravely. Hupo plus genitive means by, so by the citizens. Hupo tone polytone. Then number nine, hutoi hoi paides, these boys. Egrapsan, that means wrote, a weak aorist. Moroteron, more stupidly, comparative adverb, er ekenoi, than those ones. Okay? And then number 10, hoi stratiotai, the soldiers. Emena means um, remained or stayed, weak heirist. Pro ton pulon, that means in front of the gates, pro plus genitive. Andreotata means very bravely. Okay. And then here we have uh, a bit of English, as um, a bit of English to Greek. Sorry, that should say. I should say English to Greek. So the messenger spoke very wisely. Okay, the messenger in Greek is ho angelos. And he spoke a pen um, very wisely. Okay, so the word for wise is sophos. So if we look at the stem, sof, the vowel is short, so we need a long o. Then we want superlative, so tatos. And then we want the adverb, so we replace it with the neuter plural, so sophotata. Okay, then the sailors, hoi nautai, suffered epathon, um, strong areas from Pasco, more terribly. Okay, terrible is denos. So look at the stem, dane, that vowel is long. So we need the short O. We, we want a comparative, so teros, but we want the adverb, so teron, neuter singular, more terribly, than the others. Okay, here we can just do um, air, the others, hoi alloy, or we could do a date of comparison. We could just say tone alone instead. Right. Um, so instead of, so this bit, air hoi alloy, we could say um, tone alloy. We could use the genitive of comparison there. Okay, um, this slave, okay, this slave is um, in Greek, hutos ho doulos. Uh, or you could say hode hodulos if you want. Teaches, to teach is didasko, so didaske, in a very useful way. Now, in Greek, you just say very usefully. So useful is kresimos. So look at that um, stem, kresim. The last vowel is short, so kresimo tatos. But we want the adverb, so Cresimotata. Okay, the general, Hostrategos. By the way, I'll just add in here, Hutos Hodulos. That could also be Hodulos Hutos, or you could use Hoder. 
So hodeh hodulos or hodulos hodeh. Right? Uh, anyway, the general, very stupidly, okay, stupid, uh, wrong alphabet, stupid is moros. So again, look at the stem, that vowel is long, so we need a short O here. Morotatos is the superlative. We want the adverb, so morotata. And then we want trusted. Now that's pistuo, so epistuse. And that takes dative, so then you want her epistole in the dative. Ter epistole. Okay, so ter epistole in the dative case. All right, and now we have the last one there, which is number five, the gates. So we start with the gates, hi pulai, are being more bravely guarded. Okay, so let's do are being guarded. So fulasso is I guard. Okay, so, um, and then we need the passive. So, omai, er, etai, omatha, ester, ontai. So, fulas, sontai. Now, more bravely. Brave is andreos. So, again, look at the stem. The last vowel is ei, which is long. So, we need a short o here. And then, oteros, but we want the adverb. So, oteron. And then, by us. So by is hypo plus genitive. So then us is hermes, but the genitive is hermon. Then, now this is not a simple um, comparison, so we can't use the genitive of comparison, right? It's not, it's not by us than them, it's by us than by this other person. So we need air er plus um, the allies, just hoi sumakoi, but they need to go in the same case as hair mode. So, ton sumakoi, like that. Okay, then um, here we just learn a few more adjectives. So, we have axios plus genitive, it means worthy or deserving. Dikaios, just or right. Hieros, holy or sacred. Iskuros, strong, uh, with a long u, iskuros. Uh, pistos, meaning trustworthy or faithful. Here the I is actually short, but it's tr for, but for comparison it's treated as long because it's followed by two consonants. So you have a short O in the comparative and superlative forms. Plusios, rich or wealthy. And hypselos, meaning high. So let's just try these sentences. Hoxenos, the stranger, wrong alphabet, sorry. Uh, the stranger... Axioteros est is more worthy, testimes, of honor, genitive after axios. Um, er is than pantes hoi stratiotai, all the soldiers. The number two, genitive sandwich, hoton sumakon angelos, the allies messenger. Uh, dikaios own, literally that means being just. Or you could say uh, that bit, you could say something like, um, since he is just, or something like that. Um, Dikaios lege speaks justly or rightly. Um, and dikaios is just a positive adverb, not comparative or superlative. Number three, passai hai enter comes. So that means all, and it's feminine, so all the women the ones in the village, so all the women in the village, uk axia epaskon. Okay, so um, this is quite difficult. So they epaskon, so they were suffering in perfect tense. The heiress would be epathon. They were suffering uk axia. So that means things they didn't deserve. So you could say undeserved things or something like that. Um, okay, okay, number four, how ter est this is, her pistota ter, the most, well, pistos, the most trustworthy or something, ton biblon, of the books, genitive plural. Number five, hoi pides, the boys, 
edidas conto, imperfect passive, were being taught. Um, axios kai sophos, axios. Well, so axios means, as you can see here, worthy. So you could say sort of worthily or something like that. Um, and sophos, wisely, positive adverbs. Hupa plus genitive means by, so by the teacher. Hupa tu didaskalu. Now, number six, her tes theas oikia, gentle sandwich. The goddess's house is esten hierotate, very holy or sacred. Okay. Um, so, hoi in number seven, hoi fulasomenoi, the ones or the men being guarded. Fulasomenoi is a present passive participle. Iskurotata, ve very. Um, strongly, superlative adverb, uden ekusan, heard nothing. Ekusan is the strong, is the weak heiress from akuo. Okay, number eight, hodeho angelos, this messenger, apen, spoke, pistoteron, more trustworthily, er, okay, not, than that one, or than that man. Okay, Hoarkon, the leader, Esti is plusioteros, richer, tone alone polytone, that's the genitive of comparison, than the other citizens. Okay, number 10 begins with the genitive sandwich, hi tu stratope du pulai, the camps, sorry, the, the, the gates of the camp, asin are hupse lotatai, very high. Okay, and then a bit of uh, English to Greek uh, doing that. The faithful slave. Okay, so ho um, pistos doulos spoke a pair very justly. Okay, so dikaios is just. Look at the stem, dikai, the last vowel is long, which means we need something, we need a short o here. We want the superlative, tatos, but we want the adverb, so neuter plural, dikaiotata. Okay, and then we have number two, the giant, pogigas, is, st, stronger. Now, strong is iskuros, so we'll put an n on the end of st, because the next word will begin with a vowel. Now we have iskuros. Look at the stem, iskur. Now here the U is long, as we saw on the previous page, so we're going to have a short O here, and then we want comparative, so teros is stronger. Now this is an adjective, not an adverb, right? That one is an adverb, this is an adjective, than all the sailors. Okay, so here we can either do air plus the same case, so pantes hoi nautai, or we could use the genitive of comparison. Right, pantone, tone, now tone. So either we do this or we do that, one or the other. Okay, number three, the laws. A law is honomos, hoi nomoi. R is asin, with an N because we're about to have a vowel afterwards. Asin, worthy, axioi. And then axios takes genitive, so of honor, tes, times. There's actually no comparative uh, or superlative there. Um, the boy in number four, the boy is hopais. Uh, very foolishly, okay, foolish is moros. So look at the stem, mor, the, vowel is, the last vowel is long, so we want a short o here. Now it's very, so it's superlative, so tatos. But we want the adverb, so the neuter plural, tata, uh, morotata, and then ran away. So to run away is feugo. And here we want the strong aorist, f u g. And because it's the end of the sentence, we'll put f, we'll put the n on the end as well. And then in number five, the last one of these, the village, her come. Come. The one being guarded, so we'll repeat the article, and then we'll have being guarded, so fulasomene, there's our 
present passive participle, the one being guarded, very bravely. Okay, brave is Andreos. Let's look at the stem. Andre, the last vowel is long, so we'll have a short O. We want the superlative tatos, but we want the adverb, so Andreotata. And then by the soldiers, hupo plus genitive, hupoton stratioton. And then is wealthy, esti. And then wealthy is plusios, right, which we met um, here, plusios. And feminine plusia. Okay, and then finally at the very end here, page 10, there is some vocabulary to review. Kalos is beautiful. Ergon is a deed or a work uh, or an action. A phone is a voice. Ace means into and it, um, or towards uh, sometimes, and it takes accusative. And Maka is a battle. Amy, I am. O is just O, addressing someone in direct speech. Probably Herisco, I find. Biblos, book. Hecastos, each or every. Um, grapho, I write. Hoi polemioi, the enemy. Didasco, I teach. Bule, a plan or a council. Stratopedon is an army camp. Paremi, I am present. Octo is the cardinal number eight. Dia can mean through when it's followed by the genitive or on account of, or because of when it's followed by accusative. Gar means for and comes second in the sentence. Koluo, I hinder or obstruct or prevent. Uh, ex ago, I lead out, lead someone out of somewhere. Eti means still in the sense of we are still away or something. Lambano, I take or capture. Uh, sorry, capture. Proton means first or at first, something like that. And thalassa is the sea.